So originally I wasn't going to make this a video because I don't think I needed to, but uh, here we are. So if you haven't seen the full race, you can go watch that. It'll, it should be on my channel by now. Well, yeah, this is Nike Indoor Nationals Indoor 400. So, so I got put in lane one because uh, I had the slowest time because it's Nationals. This is heat. This is the second best heat. So, I don't know, I go into this race and I feel small. Like, these kids in lane 5 and 6 are huge. I literally feel like I'm 4'11", even though I'm a foot taller than that. But, yeah, I try my best. So, going into lane 1, I know I have to get out hard. Uh, if you haven't watched my How to Run the Indoor 4 in lane 1, you should go watch it. Uh, but I pretty much just stuck to those principles. This guy did a three-point start. That's kind of cool. I don't even know if you were allowed to do that. But I guess you are. So I'm just trying to close this stagger as quick as I can. Um, I almost closed it, actually. Like, I'm right there. I'm like, okay, okay. I just stag, stag him up. But, like, he, he just starts, like, I don't know. He kind of elbows me a little bit because he runs. Like this. So when I when I when I saw him, I was like, my brain did not expect that, but that's just kind of part of the sport. And then eventually, like I kind of just let him have the full. Like I literally stopped running, and it was just not right. Like it was not the move. So I just try to catch him. I'm like, all right, we'll play it back, and just try to kick people out at the end. And then I'm just running around. Like, I'm literally just playing tag. And then I'm like, okay, okay. Uh, here we go. I'm going to tag you now. And I just try to muscle it out and pass him. I almost get the pass, but I don't. As you can see, like, I miss it by this much. And, yeah. Uh, there isn't a whole lot to analyze, analyze, analyze here. Except, I probably should have just took... I don't know why I let him have the break. Like if I just pushed up a little more, I could have, like, found him. Then I would be in front, and I'd be with these guys who ran, like, 53. Because the gap opens up the second I slow down. And right now, right here, I'm kind of just jogging. I'm like, okay. And I just go back again. So, honestly, I'm just way too nice for the indoor 400 like i'm just too nice of a guy to run this race so i have to be a lot more aggressive i guess but it's the indoor four so it's like really it, it's a lot slower than the outdoor one just because of traffic traffic and turns and cutting in so i mean it's just kind of like i don't know i all my indoor 400 times are kind of a fluke so, I'm definitely confident, like, there's definitely going to be a big drop outdoor. I'm running 300 this weekend, or maybe I've already ran it, depending on when you, when I upload it. So, I mean, yeah, I'll, we'll see how that goes. Going for a 37. If I run 37, that's, like, good outdoor 400 shape. So, yeah, that's it, guys.